Endpoint Weather 12 forecast. This Christmas Eve morning, nice to be able to show off a little bit of light snow. This is actually down in North Kingstown here. And you can see uh, over Situate as well, where we've had just enough snow to leave a little bit of a dusting on the sides of the roads and untreated surfaces may become a little bit slippery this morning, which is why we bumped our threat tracker up for that light snow through about 11 a.m. It's dry in the afternoon and evening. Christmas Day also bumping that up as we have the risk for some icy conditions inland before 9 o'clock in the morning with with uh, rain showers going to continue off and on throughout the day. Then Sunday's threat tracker finally back to the green. Here's our live radar. This is all light snow again, but you can see it a little steadier over Connecticut and Western Massachusetts, and that's pushing our direction. So plan on over the course of the morning, seeing that light snow filling in, and we're seeing that already in the western parts of Kent County and Hope Valley, and that trend will continue eastward. We've got several hours of some light snow over the morning hours before it dries up. Temperatures certainly cold enough to support all snow. We're in the 20s, 24 Providence and Newport, 25 New Bedford and 24 in Westerly. Here's the hour by hour forecast this morning showing those scattered snow showers continuing through the end of the morning commute and then drying up for the afternoon. Temperatures in the second half of the day into the lower to middle 30s. We're not expecting much a dusting for most on the high end. A couple of spots could get up to an inch of snow, but it's enough to create some slippery travel, Imp improve conditions for the afternoon about 35 at 2 o'clock 34 at 4 in the afternoon and at 6 this evening we're at around 32 and things looking good for Santa's arrival this evening. It'll be dry with those temperatures again by 11 o'clock at night down to around 30 degrees. It'll be cloudy, but I still expect it to be dry early in the night tonight. It's later in the night that we're concerned about some wintry mix some freezing rain is the main concern after midnight tonight. You can see those low temperatures falling in the upper 20s to near 30 degrees. So it's inland areas that are under this winter weather advisory until 10 a.m. on Saturday. This does include Warwick and Cranston, West Warwick, Coventry, West Greenwich, and then points north, Providence, Pawtucket, Woonsocket, uh, Burrowville, Cumberland, Attleboro, you're all in that winter weather advisory. An icy start to Christmas morning, then just scattered rain showers. But we are concerned about a small ice accumulation. Not a lot, but we could end up with a few hundredths of an inch of ice before it transitions over to rainfall in our inland spots. So this is a look at 6 a.m. on Christmas morning. You can see those temperatures in Smithfield, 30, with a light freezing rain falling at the freezing mark in Providence, but already above it near the coastline. And the temperatures will gradually warm through the morning, but a a couple of hours of freezing rain certainly could cause some issues for travel. Now we'll hold on to the freezing rain longer as you head north into Worcester and Springfield going to be an icy morning, even early afternoon. But by 10 a.m., our temperatures are expected to be into the middle and upper 30s and then even some 40s. So noontime, just plain chilly rain showers and those rain showers will continue kind of off and on into the afternoon and evening on Saturday throughout your Christmas day and into Christmas night. Here's the seven day forecast. So we've got temperatures today at around 34 degrees, eventually making it into the 40s with that off and on rain on Saturday. Sunday is drier, blustery, so heading to the Pats game, it turns partly cloudy, will be dry, but those winds will make it feel a little bit cooler than it is. Northwest winds about 10 to 20 miles per hour for Monday uh, for Monday and Tuesday looking dry and partly sunny, bringing a chance for a couple of light showers for Wednesday and Thursday.